What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a test uh, to get to know each other better. Uh, this is a, a test on BuzzFeed. The uh, link is down in the description below. Um, it's about what color describes you, so uh, let's get to know each other a little more. Alright, so the first number. Pick a real weird paint color name. Okay, so let's see the options. There is Potentially Purple, Spirit Whisper, Lauren Surprise, Mermaid Net, Dragon's Blood, Anonymous, Hugs and Kisses, Frozen Time, and Salty Tear. Alright, so um, I think I'm going to pick Spirit Whisper, uh, just because that looks a little interesting and uh, not a color that you'd usually see. So, alright, let's click Spirit Whisper. You move into a fixer upper. What do you renovate first? Okay, so this is definite. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see the other options. Okay, so it's definitely my bedroom. I mean, I'm constantly cleaning, uh, doing stuff around, making it look nicer. I mean, you know, it's not. It's not. It's pretty simple. So, choose a world cuisine. Okay. Um. So generally, I like to eat all kinds of foods. I'm a hungry person, uh, you know, any food floats my boat. Um, so, you know, it's, it can't be Indian, because, you know, that's that's me every day. Uh, but I like fi spicy stuff, so... Um, but out of everything here, the uh, most interesting looks Scandinavian. So let's click that and see how we do next. So, time for art class. What are you making? A landscape painting, photograph, conceptual art, minimalist painting, ceramics, sketch with colored pencils, performance art, watercolor, or a charcoal sketch. Um, yeah, so I don't think any of the bottom three are really me. Um, maybe minimalist painting from the second row, but I think I'm gonna go for either photograph or landscape painting. I mean, I haven't taken art class in a long time, but I used to paint a lot of landscapes. Um, but you know what? We're gonna choose photograph, because that's the uh, last art class I took. How do you like to relax? Oh, definitely YouTube or Netflix. Where is that? Go for a walk. Okay, so yeah. Go for a walk. I mean, I like to do exercise, but you know, I'm not gonna walk for a, for a relaxation. Um, meditate, bubble bath. I haven't taken a bubble bath in a while. Uh, theater. Okay, that's interesting. Baking. Okay, watch TV is the closest. I mean, all I do is Netflix, YouTube. You know, you know the drill. Um, all right, choose a fruit. Apple, pomegranate, blueberry, passion fruit, watermelon, kiwi, mango, fig, guava. All right, so fig's an interesting option. Um, again, I like all sorts of foods, so any fruit. I eat a lot of fruit. It's sweet. I have a major sweet tooth. Uh, another fun fact about me. Um, but I think out of these, I think mango is my favorite. Um, but it has to be like, you know, th that like deep orange mango. It can't just be like any mango. So. Yeah, I don't like those sour kind of mangas. I don't know what those are called, but those are probably just not right mangas. <laughs> All right. Next question. What would you want to find at the end of a rainbow? A puppy? Oh my goodness, I've been asking for this forever. Uh, your loved ones? Knowledge? A beach? A tree house? Your true love? Inner peace? A pot of gold? I'll take whatever I can get. Um, All right. So, I'm not much of like a poet or like a deep person, so like inner peace, your true loved one, um, you know, your loved ones, I mean, yeah, I, I like those, but you know, yeah, I'm more of a materialistic person, you know, you gotta have something. Um, I like beaches, um, but you know, I really wouldn't want to find a beach at the end of a rainbow knowledge. I'm not really for- I, I don't think a puppy would be the best. 
So, but I think I'll say I'll take whatever I can get. Just because, you know, I'm that kind of person, you know, what, whatever goes. Um, next question. You're going to a barbecue. What are you bringing? Alright. Um, let's see. What am I bringing? Alright, next question. You're going to a barbecue. What are you bringing? Alright, so I haven't been to a barbecue in a while. Um, but if I were to choose something, I would choose the cheapest thing first. I mean, I'm spending as l low amount of money as possible, you know. I'm, I'm there for my presence. I'm not there, you know, to impress people or anything. Um, but let's see. Veggie kebabs, pasta salad, potato salad, cookies, coleslaw, barbecue chicken, hot dogs, burger. So, lemonade. Um, Alright, so between, in this question, it's really between uh, lemonade and cookies for me. I mean, again, those are the cheapest. The thing is, though, I feel like cookies, people will see, like, straight through. Like, they'll know whether you made it or not. But lemonade, you know, you put extra sugar, you add a little more water, or something like that. That You can change the taste to make it seem like you made it on your own, so, you know, lemonade. What do you do to respond to rejection? Alright, uh, I do not respond to rejection well. Um, yeah, honestly, have a nice cry, soul searching, those are the kind of things I do. Um, I like to eat, but, you know, not in these kind of situations. I eat when I'm hungry, as most people do. Lie in bed, take up a new hobby. Um, I try new hobbies, and then it works for like a week, a week and a half, and then after that, it's just gone. So, yeah, I'm not really much of a take up a new hobby kind of guy. Call a friend. Yeah, I would call a friend, but the thing is, then I have to tell them why, and it, it just becomes too much. So, uh, no offense to any of my friends out there, but, uh, you know, yeah, uh, watch a movie. You see, I just can't get past it, so the thing is, I'll keep on, I'll just, like, keep going with it. So watching a movie won't be the right thing, because it's just gonna ruin the entire movie for me. Um, let's see. Go to the spa, I haven't been to the spa, go for a stroll. I think it's kind of... Yeah, I think I cry, but I think I do a lot more uh, soul searching. So let's click that. Alright, pick a movie with a color in its title. Alright. Um, the Green Mile, uh, Pretty in Pink, The Color Purple, Men in Black, How Green Was My Valley, Blue Valentine, The Hunt for Red October, or Clockwork Orange, and Black Swan. Um, so I feel like I've heard of a few of these. Um, but the only one I think that I can remember that I watched is Men in Black. So I'm just going to choose that. Okay, so... Oh, okay, alright. So my color is black. It's, the uh, description is, no, you aren't dark or angry, you are simply reserved, only opening up to those around you who are most important in your life. You have control over yourself and your relationships and don't like feeling like you're on the outside of any decisions. Black may not technically be a color, but it still describes you well. Alright, so it looks like I'm black, guys. Uh, my color. Um, so... Comment down below what color you guys got, um, I'm interested to see, and, you know, tell me if you got black or any other color, 